In this free video tutorial from thehelpspot.com, we're going to learn a little bit about how to work with Word documents in OpenOffice.org, the free alternative to Microsoft Office. So the first thing we're going to do is create a Word compatible document with OpenOffice. So let's get into OpenOffice. We'll go to Start, Programs, OpenOffice.org, and you'll see here OpenOffice.org Writer is the OpenOffice equivalent to Microsoft Word. Let's click that and open that program. If you'll notice here, this sample Word document that I have here, this icon, that's the open office document icon. So uh, Word documents have a big W um, and open office documents will have, um, will look like this. Uh, since I don't have Word on this machine, open office will handle opening Word documents. So here we go, open office is now loading. Here we are in the main screen of open office org writer so this now is where we're going to create a word document so let's just create a regular document this let's type some text here this is a regular document with some text now if we were to if we go to file and let's hit save as now if we save this if you look over here ODT. That's how it would save this file by default, and that's a file that OpenOffice will read. So if you're running exclusively with OpenOffice, that's fine. A lot of us want to work with Microsoft Word, so that's why I've opened up this list. If you look here, it says Save As Type. If you click this down button, you're going to see a whole list of options that you have here. And the one that we want to see the most is right over here. Word 97 2000 XP Docs. Let's save as that, and let's call this... Um, open office document word format. And again, I don't know if you really need a title that long, but I want to be able to separate uh, files out uh, to show you this. So let's go ahead now. Let's, let's save this to the desktop and make it easier to get to. You can save wherever you want, usually in my document. Let's click here and save. Now there is some warning about formatting, and that's fine. Sometimes what happens is if you create very complicated table structures or um, inserting images and just some very complicated structure, sometimes it can't save it as a Word document. Generally speaking though, um, you, you, should, you should be pretty safe. So let's go ahead and keep the current format. See here it's telling us that they want to use an ODF, this ODF instead of a doc, uh, to go ahead and, um, and ensure compatibility with OpenOffice. But again, let's just keep our current format and go uh, as a doc file. So that's saved. And now you see all of a sudden at the top here, it says doc. And that's the most important part. So let's go ahead now and click this X. I'm not exiting the program. I'm just cleaning it. I'm just leaving that, um, that document. Now over here, what I created on my own here was a sample Word document. And I called it sample Word document so we could easily differentiate it from the open office document that I created there. So this is a document that I created in Word. Um, it's a doc file. And so we're going to go ahead now and open it up. I double clicked it which will open in, in, micro, in, in open office, but actually let me do this. Um, the important thing to note here is that obviously if you have Word installed on your machine, you may not need to use open office. So this, as we files have icons associated with them that I mentioned earlier. If you had Microsoft Office on your machine or on a friend's machine, this document with the .doc extension would probably look like a, a big W or a paper with a W. That icon lets us know that it's, that it's a Word document and the computer knows it's a Word document. But just to make things easier, let's go into Open Office. Let's go into um, Open a Document. And if we look on the desktop, again, I have the Open Office document I created and the sample Word document. So let's go ahead and click Open. You could have just double clicked it, but I want to show you uh, another way to do it. Let's click Open. And there we go. Sample Word document dot doc is open. So there you go. So let's go ahead and X out of that. So let's go over what we've learned. We've learned that OpenOffice.org can manipulate Word files pretty well. And in order to create a Word file in OpenOffice, we go ahead and open up my OpenOffice, type our document, and then go ahead to go File, Save As, and save it as a doc. Um, and now if we want to have, we have a Word document and we want to edit a Word document and save it as a Word document, we'll go ahead and just go to File, Open, and open that document, edit it as usual, and go ahead and save. We are compatible with our friends who have Microsoft Office. 
the only caveat uh, with working with uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office documents is that you'll find that now that Microsoft has released the new version of Microsoft Office, uh, of course with the new version of Microsoft Word, those files are no longer stored as .doc, .doc, .doc or .doc files. They're now stored as .docx. Um, as far as OpenOffice is concerned, if someone saves, someone with the new version of Office saves a file as a .docx, you will be able to open that file, but you will not be able to save that file as a .docx. Uh, let me repeat that. If somebody has a newer version of Word and saves a newer version of Word file as a .docx and gives it to you, again, that's a .docx instead of a .doc, OpenOffice will still be able to read it, you'll still be able to open it. However, you will not be able to save it as a .docx file, and you'll just have to save it as a regular .doc file, which will provide no problem, as when you save a .doc file and send it back to that person for review who has the newer version, they will uh, obviously keep working with it as a .doc file. So again, that's something that you might not notice going on behind the scenes, but it's something that may, um, that may come up at some point. So you can read docx files from the new Microsoft Office, but you just can't save them as a docx. But again, that doesn't matter because the new version of Word, even though it creates the docx file format, it can still read the normal version of Word, the normal doc files that you can easily create uh, with OpenOffice.